Okay, so uh, here we will be doing the current drain in milliamp hours across these two 800 milliwatt, or well, they're rated 800 milliwatt, 1.3 gigahertz VTXs from RMRC. Um, using a VAS IB Crazy uh, three lobe clover. I have tried it with a tuned half wave dipole as well. Um, I get very similar results. So it's these tests are irrespective of the antenna that I've used on the VTXs. One of the things you will see is that one of the VTXs does consume a little bit more power. Um, and when I say a little bit more, on channel 9 it consumes nearly 100 milliwatts, uh, sorry, 100 milliamps more. Um, the reason for the test is that on my Eagle Tree Vector I was getting considerable noise from the power supply unit. And what I found was that when I was running both the camera and the VTX on 12 volts, uh, the VTX wouldn't power it properly and the system wasn't stable. Um, raised a ticket with Eagle Tree. Um, they suggested some unit back. However, I did some more troubleshooting. Uh, tried a second um, vector PSU unit. I had the same problem. Uh, I am using the, the vector uh, wiring harness, so there's no possibility of ground loops, or at least any that I might have created. Um, <clears throat> I did perform the tests using both VTXs, so it would be very unlikely for both VTXs to be uh, problematic. Also tried two cameras. <clears throat> the the Runcan camera that I'm using is the Runcan Eagle, it's the first one. Um, I did do a current drain test on that as well, and at 12 volts it pulls 100 milliamps. Um, after discussing it more with Eagle Tree, uh, they suggested putting the camera on the 5 volt uh, voltage tap of the PSU, which I did, and to my surprise, uh, all of my problems went away. Uh, the picture was absolutely crystal clear perfect, um, and the, the VTX was working perfectly fine as well, and I had no buzzing from the PSU. So it looks like... Um, the 100 milliwatts from, sorry, 100 milliamps, I keep, yeah, let's keep saying that, 100 milliamps from the Runcam Eagle combined with the roughly 5 to 600 milliamps pulled by the VTX. Now, bearing in mind at 12 volts, these are supposedly uh, rated at 360 milliamps consumption for the 6 to 800 milliwatts. Uh, power that they emit. Um, I've seen uh, considerably more as you will see in the video. Using a 3S LiPo, this is charged to roughly 12.5 volts. Uh, you'll see later on that I do a voltage test on that. Um, so yes, this is uh, this is for everybody out there using these 1.3 gigahertz 800 milliwatt VTXs. Do check the current drain on them because they are quite hungry. And if you're powering both that and your camera off the 12 volt tap on your Vector PSU, you might find that it buzzes a bit because it's under heavy load. Um, the Vector PSU is rated for, a hun for one amp, uh, but I believe that's one amp across both the 12 and the 5 volt taps. Um, don't quote me on that. Have a read of the manual. Do check the manual. Do check what your VTX is pulling. Um, and if you're in any doubts, then maybe use a separate battery to power the uh, to power the VTX, or use a lower power VTX. Anyway, I hope somebody's found this useful. Um, I certainly have. It's been a bit of a learning experience. I've used Eagle Tree vectors for a long time, and not had any problems with them. Uh, this is my first time on 1.3, and I was getting really bad range, and really bad problems with channel drift and just. I couldn't power both, couldn't power up the plane and reliably have the, the video working and the camera had to unplug one or the other until they both came on. So, yep, ask questions, leave comments, flame, whatever. Thanks, bye for now. 
Okay, so first of all, test battery voltage. As you can see, 12.56 volts on this 3S battery. And now we'll test the current consumption in milliamps on the DVM using a 800 milliwatts 1.3 gig video transmitter. This is the RMRC one. And we'll check the current consumption across all of the channels. So channel 9, 260 milliwatt, 260 milliamps. H, 370. C, 300. D, 530. Channel 4 is 320 milliamps. 5, 400 milliamps. 6, 390 milliamps. 7, 440 milliamps. 8, 470 milliamps. 9, 540. I've got another VTX here, so I shall test this one as well. Okay, so this is the second VTX. Get a good, there we go. So starting at channel 9, 430 milliamps. H, 310 milliamps. C, 270 milliamps. 4, 310 milliamps. 5, it's 370 milliamps. 6, 350. 7, 410. 8, 440. 9, 440. So as you can see, the second VTX draws slightly less power. Um, I think from that we can deduce that the milliwatt output is slightly lower on that as well.